Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine what's new and old in entertainment. Do you wish you had a higher tolerance for horror movies and TV, but you always find yourself being a little too afraid for your own good? Netflix may have just released the show for you. Netflix's Devil in Ohio tells the story of a young woman who recently escaped from a cult and moves in with a normal suburban family when bad luck begins to strike members of that family. The show is definitely horror adjacent, but it never goes full horror. The series is based on the novel of the same name, and it's clearly inspired by Stephen King novels and other mainstream horror. At times, it's even reminiscent of other Netflix horror series like The Haunting at Hill House or Midnight Mass. But like I said, it never fully goes there. It's tense and scary, and at times some very violent things occur, but the show doesn't dwell on any of those gore or slasher themes. In fact, I struggle to think of a single scene that would give a viewer nightmares or make it hard for them to tiptoe through their house at night that's any worse than something you'd see on Cold Case or Law and Order. Devil in Ohio is a twisty, turny, clever show that can satiate that horror genre itch without scaring the bejesus out of you. At times, it feels more like a network show than a streaming show, even despite its TV mature rating. For those of us with a bit higher tolerance for horror content, Devil in Ohio is still a fun ride and a great way to gear up in September for the truly scary content that I'm sure we'll be watching come spooky season next month. Devil in Ohio is now streaming on Netflix. I'm Evan Rook.